here's an update on my van build and my first ever van pizza. It's just starting to get golden. I got my LED lights out of here. And this is the folding memory foam bed. Super comfy. Adjustable for the angles. Uh, this folds out of the way so I can haul a pallet right here um, Or I can haul really long stuff along the hallway It's my new electric flush toilet. It's my massive collection of clean socks and dirty laundry skate equipment You know first aid bag um, Let's see what do I got? Uh, I got my tools my power tool chargers and batteries. I got 15 gallons of fresh water, five gallons of gray water. I got a big new sink that I made out of a oversized salad bowl. Got a new microwave. And this is gonna be really good. I'm gonna try to get it glowing, because it has these really cool heating elements that are some new type of material, like a ceramic. And this game is awesome. I love this game. It's free to play on PC. And uh, this AC bit the dust, but uh, I got a bigger one that I'm gonna put in there. And I'm gonna put a, um, a pass through so I can reach my hand and pull the generator and turn the choke on over there. That's my best uh, solution um, for this predicament because this little Harbor Freight generator is, um, it's the quietest one I could find and it's also the most fuel efficient. Um, so I got an extended run fuel cap and I'm gonna just like, I had a setup on my last generator where I would just lift the fuel can above my head and it would, it would start the siphon and then I would just set it down and then it would, the, the generator running would, would, um, fill it up, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Might just get the $300 kit with the pulse pump. But, um, yeah, here's my sound system. Bananas. Um, phone stand. This is coming handy a lot. I like that. Uh, magnetic mount. I still need to finish the ceiling. It looks awful. What the heck? Um, let's see. What else do I got? Um, lighting. I got these from Walmart, 10 bucks each. They draw 10 watts each. This is from Home Depot, and it also draws 10 watts. So the whole thing, 30 watts. And I have this on a, um, a timer strip right here, so I can um, set it to just um, blast lights in my face in the morning. At 5 a.m., just boom, sun is up. <laughs> As you can see, it's very bright. I could still use a couple more. Um, let's see. Yeah, pretty excited to use this uh, induction stove top here. Let's see, it's too bright. Huh? And pretty excited about my pizza here. Yeah, this is an air fryer, so it's got a convection fan, 1200 watts. So I should be able to cook a lot of stuff in there. And uh, I get my internet through T-Mobile these days, and they've actually been doing really good. There's a, there's a 40 gigabyte limit on the hotspot, which I was not thrilled about, and I tried this app called Secured Tether, and the speeds were too slow. So I've just been using the hotspot and thankfully I haven't run out of internet once, you know, even though I game plenty, it's, it seems that uh, online gaming doesn't actually use that much um, bandwidth. So that's been working out and their speeds are great, um, coverage maybe not so great, um, but yeah, it, it works out so I can cook wash my hands, 
Um, oh, fridge and freezer. I got this thing loaded. Rockstar on the bottom. Mango Kogo. That shit's delicious. Some grapes. Lots of Kerrygold. Some cheese and meat for sandwiches. Klondike bars. Junk food pastries. Only junk food I buy. And what's that? Grass-fed hamburgers. Hell yeah, I'm gonna cook those on my uh, George Foreman. On the tailgate. But uh, speaking of, I'm gonna, this is a cluster fuck, and I'm gonna fix it somehow. You relocate it, um, maybe I'll get a big strip. One is inverter, one is generator. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna put a range hood right here, and I'll have it exhausting, maybe straight out, maybe, up under the solar panel and then out at a 45 but I definitely need a range hood um, if I'm gonna use my cast iron to cook eggs bacon burgers steak stuff like that on this bad boy but um, I might get that predator um, predator 3000 inverter generator or uh, 3500 it, it would fit in my in my generator box but um, it, it eats more fuel um, and it doesn't have a remote start built in. You still got to pay 300 bucks for the kit. Um, but that would allow me to um, to run the induction stovetop. And uh, well, I mean, I can I can run tw a 1200 watt load on my generator. It's just I'm starting to max it out because 1200 watts for this, 400 watts for that, and I'm near the um, not the peak, but the uh, sustained rating. Um, and then 200 watts for this, um, that would be at the peak rating, 1800 watts for this generator, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I just kind of don't run everything at once. Oh yeah, and the, and the AC. I've got a bigger AC, I've got a 6000 watt, 6000 BTU, um, excuse me, AC that runs off about 500 watts and with a built-in soft start. And I'm thinking there might be times where I'll want I'll, I'll want to run the AC and cook, you know, or maybe cook and use the oven, or cook and charge a lithium bank faster, you know, because I'll get a bigger um, battery charger and a bigger. Um, I'm probably gonna get 900 amp hours of these Jita batteries. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this actually. You know, I just gotta um, be careful not to bump my elbows and uh, be thankful for what I got because it's like, man, I've saved a lot of money over paying rent, maybe like 30,000 bucks. It's been like three and a half, four years now. So I've got things kind of ironed out and uh, it's legit. It's like a New York apartment, you know. There's people that live in smaller spaces than this, and it's not the it's not the best built van at all. But I I just constantly work, so it's it's hard to build on the road, you know. But happy with this. I was thinking about chopping it right here, and then putting this part over here. But yeah, this clusterfuck needs to be built into like some eighty twenty aluminum. Um, or one of these big cabinets. I I was going to do a 20 gallon low boy water heater right here and um, like some kind of permanent shower stall there where the toilet goes in the shower stall. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. Well, I don't know. And I got a new battery, truck battery. I did have two of them, but one of them didn't quite fit in there and it squished it. Other pain in the ass about AGMs. They're so hard down, so hard to strap down, especially when you can't really, you can't really squish them that much to strap them down hard. So, it, I've, uh, you can screw up batteries by squishing them. So yeah, I'll be excited to spend uh, 1,200 times three for a 900 amp hour bank with built-in, uh, built-in heaters. Um, low temperature charging protection. Anyway, this is the van. 
As you can see, I got about five paces. So this is kind of like a POV van life experience here. You can stand up all the way. Fire extinguisher. Oh yeah, and I got um, a smoke detector and a CO detector. Your unit has not recently detected carbon monoxide. Cause no my, um, the Kitty brand, the CO detectors, the lithium ones that are supposed to last 10 years. Uh, I've had, tw I've had two of them break. Um, so yeah, screw that one. I'm trying to knock safety. But yeah, here's the, here's the van. Hope you liked the video.